Hi you two. I'm here to teach you a maths lesson today. But um, before we start, I've got a bit of an art problem for you. See if you can help me solve it. So I've got this painting by Van Gogh called The Starry Night and I'm trying to recreate it. As you can see, I've made a start, but I've got a little bit stuck. I'm following a little guide that tells me the little stars are five little circles. The medium stars are five times two circles and the big ones are five times five circles. As you can see, I've had a go, but I keep losing count because I keep counting to five and then having to stop again. So today we're going to have a look at something called an array and how to recognise them and use them to solve multiplication problems like this. This is an array. We knew the small stars were five circles, so there's five in the top row. Because we know the medium stars are five times two, or five two times, we've added another set of five to show that in our array. So now we've got five and five, two equal groups, just like Miss Lloyd taught you. We can write that as a multiplication sentence. So here we've got two times five, or five times two. Let's count in fives to find the answer. Five, ten. So two times five is ten. Now we know the medium stars are 10 little circles, we've got an array for the bigger stars. This time we've got five equal groups of five. So we have five and five and five and five and five. And we can write that as a multiplication sentence. Five multiplied by five, or five five times. Let's count in fives to find the answer. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. The total is 25, so the big stars need 25 circles. So as you can see, arrays show equal groups arranged in straight rows so they can help us with our maths. We're going to use them today for multiplication. I had a little look around my house to see if I could spot an array, and I've spotted these. Remember that we're looking today at how to recognise arrays and how to use them for multiplication. So let's create our steps to success. We circle the first group, so there's one, then the next group. So we know that we've got two groups. Now let's count how many are in each group. Count across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we know we've got two times twelve. So we've got two groups of 12, or we can read it as two 12 times and count in twos to make it easy. Let's count in twos and find the total. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So 2 times 12 is 24. We've got 24 paints. Now it's your turn. Go and look round your house, see if you can spot any arrays, or have a look at these items and see what you think they show. Then we'll come back together for a check. Off you go. Have a little look to see if you were right. What did you find looking around your house? Perhaps you could let us know. Time for another my turn. So if we have a look at this array, we've got some Mondrian squares here. So Mondrian uses shapes like these in some of his artwork. So we're going to have a look at this array and see if we can write the number sentences that go with it. So following our steps to success, we are going to group these looking at each row. So I've drawn circles round each row to help me. So now I have to count the rows. One, two, three. There are three groups. Now I need that multiplication sign because I'm doing three multiplied by. Let's see how many groups, how many we've got in each group. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got three times five. Okay, let's see if we can count in fives to work that out. Five. 10, 15. So the answer is 15. We might want to group it 
another way. So if we looked at how many groups going down this time, we would have one, two, three, four, five. This time we've got five groups. Five multiplied by, how many are in each group? One, two, three. Five multiplied by three. What do we think the answer should be? Hopefully you got it. If we know that three multiplied by five is 15, then we also know that five multiplied by three should be 15. Your turn now. Have a go at writing both the number sentences for each of these arrays or see if you can draw the arrays for the number sentences at the bottom. Off you go, then we'll come back for a check. OK, how did you get on? Have a little check to see if you were right. OK, so now I know that there are 2 times 5, which is 10 circles in the medium stars and 5 times 5, which is 25 in the big ones, I'm going to get on with my painting and you can choose from the chilli challenges. And it's your turn. Your chilli challenges have been emailed on parent mail, so please go and have a look and choose. Chilli 1 is to match the number sentence to the array and you might want to make it first, maybe using Play-Doh or pictures or objects. Chilli 2 to... Chilli 2 is to label the arrays and then make or draw some of your own for number sentences given. And Chilli 3, a bit more of an open-ended array challenge. All of them are based around art, so hope you have lots of arty array fun. I look forward to seeing how you get on. Bye!